Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chill Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this question, we will be tackling age problem question. Okay, so as you can see from the question, okay, they said that William is five times as old as Peter. Okay, they also mentioned that in eight years time, their total age would be 76. Okay, so notice that there are actually two person, William and Peter. Okay, so in eight years time, if their total age would be 76, what would their total age be now first? Okay, so we first need to identify what their total age would be now. Okay, so we need to look in terms of now. Okay, so since there are two, two person, okay, we need to take 76 minus 8, not only once, but twice. Okay, why is that so? Because in 8 years time, not only will William grow 8 years older, okay, Peter will also likewise grow 8 years older. Okay, so we need to take 76 minus 8 twice. Okay, and this will give you a total age of 60. Okay, and this total age would be the total age right now. Okay, they also mentioned that William is 5 times as old as Peter. Okay, so what we can do right now is to actually draw a model. Okay, so we have William and we have Peter. William is 5 times as old as Peter. Okay, so I'm going to draw 5 boxes for William. Okay, and I'm also going to draw 1 box for Peter. Okay, so we will be using a model to actually help us to solve this problem. Okay, so William is 5 times as old as Peter now. And we know that their total age now is 60. So I can draw a model that looks something like this. Okay, and since all the units are the same, we can say that 6 units will be equals to 60. Okay, so from here, we can find 1 unit. 1 unit, I simply need to take 60 divided by 6 to get 10. Okay. And since the question is asking you what was William's age six times, how many years, sorry, how many years ago was William's age six times that of Peter's age? Okay, we simply want to work out the age difference first. Okay, so we know this age difference is actually equals to four units. So we can say that four units is equals to 10 times four, which will give you 40. Okay, so we know that this age difference is 40. Okay, next we need all we need to do is to actually draw another model to find out what are their age when William's age is six times that of Peter's age. Okay, so we take a look at on the right side now. We have the same thing, William and Peter. Okay, William now is six times. So now instead of drawing five boxes. All I'm going to do is to draw three boxes for each side. So I get six boxes. And for Peter, I will draw one box. Okay. And we know that the age difference must be 40. Okay. Why is that so? Is because the age difference will always remain the same. Okay. So I'm just going to write that down. Age difference will always remain the same okay it does not matter whether is it now or eight years later the age difference will still be the same okay so from the second model we will see that now five units is equals to 40 okay but since we have already used units on the left side let's use parts instead okay so we say that five parts now is equals to 40 and then now we can find one part which will give you 40 divided by 5, which will give you 8. Okay, and you will notice that actually what is one unit? Okay, look over here, 10, and look over here, 8. 
Okay, this one unit actually refers to Peter's age. Okay, so we know Peter's age now and we know Peter's age when William's age is six times that of Peter's age. Okay, so just by comparing Peter's age, okay, so I'm going to write that down by comparing Peter's age. Okay, now and when William is William is six times as old as Peter. Okay, therefore, we can already tell how many years ago would that be. Okay, so Peter now is actually 10 years old. Okay, so only when Peter is 8 years old, then William's age would be 6 times that of Peter's age. Okay, so all we got to do is just to take 8. Sorry, we just got to take 10 minus 8 to get 2. And this will actually give you the answer 2 years ago. Okay, and that is your answer. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.